my mother asked me what book I wanted to read for my book talk, I said, nothing, mom. So the next day, we went to the library to find a book. And she found a book literally titled, Nothing. Jane Teller is the author of this contemporary young adult fiction novel. If you live to be 80, you'll have slept 30 years away, gone to school, and sat with homework for nine, and worked for almost 14. Since you've already spent more than six years being little kids and playing, and you're later going to be spending at least 12 cleaning house, cooking food, and looking after your own kids, it means you've got nine years at most to live. This is the kind of thinking that lands Pierre Anthony in a plum tree in the town of Terry, refusing to go to school. He feels like nothing in life matters. When pelting him with rocks doesn't get him down, his classmates make it their mission to prove to Pierre that things matter. In the group of students, you're sure to identify one or more uh, person of their personalities. There is Holy Carl, the religious one. John Johan, the leader, Ursula Marie, the rebel, and Otto, the bully. The classmates start a heap, a heap of meaning, which includes one item that each kid gives up that means something to them. They soon realize that they don't have the strength to give up the most meaningful things, so they decide to choose for each other what should be added to the heap of meaning. So what started out as a way to help a friend quickly Return turns to a dark, twisted game that causes suffering. Corpses will be dug up, animals sacrificed, and even more unimaginable events take place for the sake of the heap of meaning. After all that sacrificing, is it enough to bring Pierre and Anthony down from the plum tree? This gruesome Danish tale has been proclaimed as a modern day Lord of the Flies. Nothing will appeal to guys and girls who enjoy intense, violent scenes and are mature minded. The original Danish translation won Best Children's Book Prize from the Danish Cultural Ministry and Le Prix Libby Lit 2008 Best Novel for the English translation won the 2011 Michael L. Prince Award and the 2011 Milchard L. Butchelder Award. Thanks for watching.